what's going on guys? Hope everyone's having a good day. Today, I had to actually get out of my house, my own house, because uh, they're renovating. I'm putting in like this crazy, like hardwood, these 10 inch planks, so it's gonna look super dope for videos, because right now, I'm just, uh, my whole house is on plywood and looks like shambles. So in the meantime, I hit up a local camera shop, gonna go pick up a new camera. So we're upgrading from this ADD, which I use now, to a Mark IV. I used to have the Mark III. I like the Mark III and IV because they are full frame and the quality is really good. Uh, the downside is there's no autofocus and there's no flip out screen like the ADD. So not ideal for vlogging, but super great for quality. So I might actually keep the ADD for the vlogs and just keep the rest of the stuff for the B-roll and more cinematic stuff. But uh, let's go to the camera shop. I'm actually gonna try and perform some magic for this dude too. Let's see how that goes. Let's go check these out. They're like, they're made of like, they're like stitched. I feel like I could run on walls right now. All right, just got to the camera store. I'm here uh, with my new friend, Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hi. Sam did not expect to be on the video, so this is a bit of a surprise for Sam. Uh, we're picking up the Mark IV today. Sam, do you have it in stock? This one's mine? Yeah. Right here, this one, this exact one here? Yeah. Special day, eh? Special day indeed. Yeah, a little upgrade. A little bit of an upgrade. Friendly folks here at a CDM in St. Jerome, so really appreciative. If you want to buy something online, if you're from the area or Canada or wherever, I'll leave the link below to their shop, their online shop. You can shop like camera that I bought if you want or anything else. Basically, they have a whole shop. All right, he doesn't know this yet since Sam is here. We'll try a bit of a card trick on him. Sam, do you know I do magic? I don't know anything about you, magic. You don't know anything about magic? Nothing. Perfect, perfect. I didn't, I didn't touch these cards yet. I didn't take them out. Um, We'll start, we'll start with this. Name a card, just name one. Come closer. Sound. Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts? Yeah. Alright, open that deck of cards. Okay. Just go ahead, I didn't... Okay. And you could have named anything, right? I didn't force you, there's nothing, I didn't tell you to name a card, you named Ace of Hearts. <laughs> Put that behind your back, we'll try something else. Put it behind your back, put it behind your back. I want you to cut the deck anywhere and complete the cut. All right? Okay. If it's cut, it's complete. I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, okay. Yeah, you cut it, complete it. Okay. Done. You can do it again if you want. Hide it. Yeah. It's sure. up to you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, as many times as you like. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm good. Take the top card. Don't look at it. Hold it to your chest. All right. Don't look at it. Do the rest of the cards. Now, you're confident. I didn't see that. I didn't see that card. I have no idea what that card is. For sure. All right. I think, Do you feel it? Yeah. What was the card you said before? Ace of Hearts. And you could have taken any card at all, right? That's for sure. Have a look at that card. How did you take the same card? <laughs> You're good. But look, they're all different. <laughs> How did you take the same card? I don't know. Magic, probably. <laughs> All right, purchase is done. Finally upgraded to the Mark IV. Uh, we're about to do a quality test right now. So let's switch it up to the Mark IV right now. Now this is the Mark IV. Am I in focus, by the way? That's definitely gonna be an issue. So this is the Mark IV. Obviously the quality and the range is a lot better because it's not a crop sensor. This is a full frame camera, so you're actually getting a much wider picture. Plus I'm using a different lens, uh, so that doesn't help. And this thing weighs a ton. Like I'm gonna get a crazy forearm. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna be using from now on. Probably stick with the ADD for vlogging, but for everything else, like when I'm at home in the studio, definitely gonna be using this because the quality is, uh, is stellar. Say goodbye to my old friend. <laughs> Just got back in a car. Like I said, my new studio is my car while my home is being renovated. I just want to say a quick word that the auction has finally come to an end. We're sitting, actually, it's about to end. How soon are we? The auction, according to my phone, will end in one hour and 44 minutes. We are currently at $2,650, $2,650, to which I'm gonna add $1,000. That's almost four grand going directly to charity. Super stoked, thanks to everybody who bid and uh, supported this and shared this video, or the past videos. All this magic, bullshit, drama stuff. I mean, the guy said some more stuff on his Facebook page, but I'm not even gonna address it because I'm so over it. We did something good, and uh, the community stepped up. And so you know what, guys? Hats off to you, thank you for supporting. And I'm gonna do more of these 
sort of charity things in the future. If, like, I mean, why not? You can use this platform to do some good. Oh, by the way, the dude who named Ace of Hearts, like, first of all, as he opened the cards, that was a miracle. Right? And those things happen in performance. They happen all the time. You just, you know, it's a numbers game. The more you perform, the more things like this tend to happen. And then it did happen. And then for the second part where he cut the cards, he legitimately cut the cards like three times behind his back and ended up with the card that he named. Now, I could totally play that off as, yeah, that was... That was meant to be, bro. But uh, I'd be lying, because it wasn't. But like I said, those things happen. When performing thousands of times, you know, even a blind squirrel can find a nut every now and then. So anyways, uh, not sure what I'm doing right now. All right, so just gonna pit stop at McDonald's because I'm a piece of garbage and you know, you are what you eat. But I had, I had, a, quick, I had a quick thought as well. I checked this out online. I don't know if you guys is, have seen this. The uh, Damn, I forget what it's called. Hold on. It's on Kickstarter right now, and I thought this was super interesting, and I might want to do a full video about it. So this is something that's happening in New York, and basically what I think they want to create is like this immersive experience for people to go hang out with magicians. Let me look. Yeah, Vinny DePonto. So I don't know this guy. We just recently became friends on Facebook because I added him because I'm super interested in what he's doing. It's called The Conjurer's Club, and it says here, and this is really cool, by the way, uh, nestled in an unassuming nook of New York City lies a century-old secret meeting place for the world's foremost magicians and illusionists. For years, it has been invisible to the public eye, but for the first time in, his in history, the club's location is revealed. Only the trusted are invited inside. Welcome to The Conjurer's Club, a myth, a secret, an underground reality. Its location has been purposefully obscured by its founder since 1917, Half Lounge, Half Lab, a wander seeker's paradise. So I think this sounds like kind of like a speakeasy in New York, which ah, I'm so excited for. I love speakeasies. Like they're, New York is like the speakeasy hub. And for those of you who don't know what a speakeasy is, I went to this one called Please Don't Tell. Basically it looks like a hot dog joint. You walk in like this hot dog shop and there's a phone booth to the right. You get in the phone booth, you dial a secret number, they answer, they ask for your name and the door in the phone booth slides open into this like luxurious lounge with chandeliers and like this whiskey little speakeasy club. It's amazing, it's absolutely amazing. So they have a few of these. They have one in uh, called Fig 19 in an art gallery where you push the wall open. They attract me because of like, it's magic, right? It's like a magical experience, but there's never been really magic incorporated into these speakeasies until, I think the only thing like uh, a speakeasy with magic would be like the Magic Castle because that's basically what it is. It's a bar that's hidden, that's, you know, VIP only and it's filled with magic but now we have something like that on the east coast which is an hour flight away from me and i got all my friends over there so i'm super stoked uh, so check this out i'll leave the link to this kickstarter project below it is called once again the conjurer's club you can back the project i'm not paid or endorsed to say this by the way and i have no idea who this vinnie DePonto is in real life uh but this is something i want to see happen because i want to be a part of it uh, so check it out it's an off broadway i'm 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 reading this as i'm speaking to you because i've watched the video i've read a little bit about it. We're currently at $8,800, 24 days to go to collect $18,000. So if you want to be a part of this, I'm not sure uh, what the rewards are. Let's have a look. Uh, 10 bucks, you get a dove's note. Okay, which is uh, just a thank you. 25 bucks, get behind the curtain, a secret release. You'll be among the first people to get early access code uh, to purchase tickets to the club. That's pretty cool. 50 bucks, you'll also receive confessions from the club's owner on a piece of magic ephemera from the show. That's cool. $100, the assistant, uh, receive an invite to a closed rehearsal and test these experience before they're debuted in the club. $100 donors will also receive a ticket to the performance. That's cool. Supporters from afar will receive an official member's pin club. That's awesome. I want a pin club member pin. $10,000, the prestige. Give the club owner a run for his money. Donors at this level will receive a producer's credit for the Conjurers Club. An invitation to the closed think tank session with a creative team. Tickets for two and member pins, a vintage. Uh, yeah, not gonna happen. I don't have $10,000 to give you, but I will pledge. I'll probably pledge like 100 bucks uh, because I wanna see this happen. I hope you guys do too. If you're in the New York area or in and around and you wanna see this happen and you want your own magic club in New York complete with drinks, then pledge this. Again, I'm not paid to say this, but do so because it sounds really awesome. I hope it lives up to the hype. And if it doesn't, that'll be a hundred bucks thrown in the toilet. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video on me driving through McDonald's. Let's go. Oh, 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 it was gonna crash there. Hello, yes. Can I get three double cheese with uh, six uh, nuggets? Combo? Uh, yeah, uh, Coke. Barbecue sauce? Yes, please. Perfect. And could I have a double double, just a medium double double? Coffee, double, double. Yes. <laughs> That's it.
That's it. Perfect. Thank you. Of Gotta get my McDonald's fill in. I won't film that because I'll probably disgust and lose half my audience while I shove it into my face and then just spew it out onto the seats. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, you guys are amazing. Hit the like button if you did like. And uh, also, also, check out my merch store. We added some more teas in the Teespring shop. High quality teas of all varieties and colors. I should probably buy some myself because I don't even own one. I'm gonna cut that out. All right, guys, uh, subscribe if you're not already sub. We'll see you on the next video. Peace, rap.